How's it going? Life with Bill Siv here. Been a minute, but I'm here. Guess what? Yesterday I figured I'd do something with Skidmark. I remember the scooter's name was called Skidmark. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna do a fabrication video yesterday and uh, see what you think of it. And the whole time I didn't record it. I don't know what else to tell you. I just, I forgot to hit record. So I'm gonna show you what I did and you can leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What I'm gonna do with Skidmark here is I'm gonna put two batteries on it so I can get further. Because when Outstorm designed their scooter, they gave it 35 miles of range time. Well, that's on a little Chinese fella that weighs like 95 pounds or 85 pounds. For a big guy like me, and maybe you if you're watching this, I'm a little bit heavier. I'm about two, 256 right now I'm pushing in at. And uh, she gets about 35 kilometers to a charge. I got an extra battery for this thing. So I figured I'd run two batteries in parallel. Hey Google, turn on the garage. Anyways, I got two batteries for this thing, and I figured, why not run another one? The only problem with running another one is there's not much room on this thing to put another battery, as you all know. So I fabricated up myself a bracketry system to hold the other battery underneath the seat. But then, once I got the bracket done, I'm gonna show you, hold on a minute here, just wait. But then when I get the bracket done, I realize there's no way to put my feet when I'm standing up now. So I had to put wings on it. So what I'm gonna show you here is a, a finished, fabricated, kind of a raw deal. It's not even painted yet. But have a look and tell me what you think. So this is a piece I built right here, which is pretty neat. This is where the battery sits. It sits up like this. I gotta make a shell for the battery still. But it fits in there. I mean, I'll just be able to run the wires down there where they go. And then I built these little things for my feet. Well. When I tried it out the first time, they just bent because I'm too heavy. So I had to weld a bar in, and I should have welded the bar in underneath, but I can't because this sit flat. So I had to put the bar on top. But now, it's good. I can stand on it. And it's pretty sturdy. So now when I put the battery in, I have somewhere to put my feet. So I do have to still wire this thing up to hook the battery up, but I do have them on order, so we'll have to do that. But basically the battery, sits right in there like that and as you can see it's a pretty damn good fit okay, nice and snug and tight in there jim so now what i can do is i gotta make a cover for it and then it straps on or straps over so it holds it there mind you the bracketry i built is pretty nice it sits in there really good but it's gonna be better you gotta still strap it in that's a big battery so that should give me twice the distance and i also bought a helmet because i wasn't wearing a helmet and uh, I don't care how I look, that's gonna save my pumpkin. Because as you know, my pumpkin is cocked over. Hey, I got a credit back for that thing as you seen on the last video. So that was good. I got a credit back for that. I did. Nothing like a good credit, boys. Other than that, I haven't took the truck out much. It's got bugs on it, so I did take it out, but she's got a training leak on the pan, I think. It's leaking oil and we're the speedometer cable goes in, so we gotta fix that now, someday. But I'm not worried about it right now. It's gonna rain today. It's too hot out, so I'm not gonna bother. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see me wire that battery up. We'll do that together. Should get myself a piece of zucchini. Piece of zucchini. Should get myself a piece of rhubarb. That's it. My garden's a little out of control here, boys. He's doing good. As you see in the last video, but the problem is now it's too small. These things are taking over. Cucumbers are starting to come now. They got flowers on them at least anyways now. But those are those are too big for this garden. I should have put them in here. And my zucchini. Mini zucchinis are kind of big. Oh, there's a flower on it. That means there's zucchinis growing. Decent. Hey, lanyards are good. How do you know when to pull out your carrots too leave me a comment down below and let me know should i pull one out and check it what was that somebody hammered something oh <gasps> there's a little red cherry tomato i'll bring that to stacy i don't like cherry tomatoes myself so i don't eat them but stacy loves them oh that's a little guy oh uh, careful watch this 100 bucks says she puts it right in her mouth right now yeah let's clean it up for her babe Shut up. Yeah. Come here. 
Look at that cherry little cherry tomato. Put that in your mouth for a movie. Right out of the garden. Watch this, boys. <laughs> Boop. How is it? Good. That's a good cherry tomato. Friggin' right it is. This one's doing okay. I should move it. Frig it. Look at that weed. What is really going on? Get out of there. Frig. No. Hey, I got a load of dirt from Pug One. It's coming pretty good here. The topsoil he uses, it's got a few weed seeds in it. Just a couple. Holy. So I'm gonna have to 2,4-D that, but at least the grass is growing now. So we're gonna have grass again soon. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta weed that. That's just brutal. Chris, what's really going on? Frick. Dick. So anyways, I wanted to show you skid mark there. We got that going and we're gonna hook up that secondary battery so that should be pretty good. I haven't been spending any money lately so I haven't got much content for you. You gotta spend money to make content unfortunately and nowadays if you live in Canada or anywhere in this world you know it's, it's not been a good place to be right now with the cost of everything going up and up and up. I'm paycheck to paycheck now, just like everybody else. And uh, thinking I might have to sell the trailer, maybe. Trailer might have to go. And then the truck, if we have to, you know, just to keep up in this world. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. If you think you're the only one that's hurting for money, you're not. Let me tell you what. I don't tell you much, but I'm telling you what. Anyways, hopefully everyone's having a good day. And we'll see you on the next one.